Terra Monster, and I like to make things. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the sleeves of an oversized men's shirt fit you better. I have six different techniques to show you, so if you're excited to cut up your old men's tees, let's get crafty. The first step is to cut the neck out of your shirt. And then the next step is to start at the neck and cut about one inch apart slits down your shirt. I usually cut them in about two inches. You also want to cut the seam off of your shirt. Next, you'll want to pull and stretch your cuts into strings. And now we've completed the first step. The first way to modify the sleeve is just by making those cuts. And now we can cut right where the seam is. You can see it here. And then we'll just tie them together into square knots. And then that will bring the sleeve in more and make it look a lot more tidy. And then the next thing we can do after this is weave it. I've enlisted the help of my assistant Francesca here so I can show you how I tied up the sleeve. So each one of these where the seam was, I just snipped off the seam and then I did a square knot. And it leaves these cute little bows. If you like them, you can leave them or you can also just cut them off and then the knots aren't very noticeable at all. So it's just two different looks there. I used this same technique on the sleeve of the shirt that I have on. I cut the seam here and then made little double knots all the way. And then there wasn't any seam here so I just left it cut. And so the second way of altering the sleeve is by adding a weave or a ladder to it. If you don't know how to do this technique, I made a video on it and I'll put a link to it down below in the description. But basically you grab the strand underneath and pull it through over the top and then you just continue to do that the whole way down. And to tie this off, we will just use the scrap from the seam we cut off the sleeve. So now we have the first ladder down the sleeve and it looks like this. And now I'm just going to do a second ladder. And now you can really see just how much that brings the sleeve in. It's even making the sleeve small enough to fit her tiny little mannequin arm. And so you can see on this shirt, the first technique is to cut the slits and not the middle. And then the second technique is to weave up the sleeve. So that's what the sleeve looks like once it's been woven. And you can see it really does bring it in quite a bit. If I wanted to bring this in even more, I would just cut my slits more and continue to weave. You could put two or three weaves on top of each other to keep bringing in that sleeve even more if you need. Third way you can style up your sleeve after cutting and then weaving it is by tying it up with a string that we cut off of our seam. And it makes just a nice ruched little shoulder here. That looks really cute. 
I think now that it's ruched up though, all those little bows we had, I'm just gonna go ahead and snip them off. Looks a little more finished that way. I'm gonna show you the same technique over here on my arms so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna do the same technique of just taking this extra strip I cut off the sleeve hem and I'm going to just run it all the way through. Once you have the tie all the way through, you have two options for how you can make it look. You could gather it up the center of the ties and then that looks like that. So it's a really almost like a tank top look on the arm. Or you can bring it around to the front and gather it. Gathered in the front, it looks a lot different. Like you still have this part that hangs over your arm, which I kind of like the way that that looks. And of course you can cut off the tie, um, but it's kind of fun to just leave the bow there too. So yeah, you can have it tied in the front or Again, this is how it looks if you push it over to the center. You just don't see any of the lines there and it looks more gathered up. This is the third way to edit your sleeve. And now I'm gonna show you the fourth way. Especially once we get to the arm part. So your cuts are still about one inch apart. They're just going in a lot further. I would say probably three inches in up here. And then down here, they're going to go in half the width of the sleeve. See how much further I'm cutting in? also going to cut off that seam. And don't forget to stretch them out. For this fifth technique, I actually really like to tie up the sleeves with it on me so that I can see just how far I need to tie them in. I stretch the strings really long so that I'm tying them in really far and it's going to give me a lot of fringe. I call this fifth technique the super fringe sleeve. I really love the asymmetrical look of having different designs on different sleeves. <laughs> this side features technique number one of stretching out the sleeves and making tight knots, as well as technique number two, where we did the laddering on the sleeve. And the other side features technique number five, the super fringe sleeve. They look pretty good together, I think. And then the uh, sixth or final way of altering your sleeve is doing what I call the bat wing sleeve. So when the shirt was on me, I measured how much I wanted to take off of the sleeve so that it would fit tighter on my arm. Three and a half inches off. So I'm just gonna mark that there. Also, I'm gonna cut off the hem. Always cut the hems off, everything I do. Okay, three and a half inches, and I'm just going to angle my ruler so that it goes to that point and then out. So now we've just cut that off there. And now we're just going to cut slits up the bottom along the angle we just cut. 
pull all the strings so that they curl and then tie them together in square knots. And this is what the bat wing style looks like once it's done. See the difference? This is before regular sleeve and then this is after with the bat wing sleeve. I think it looks pretty cute. <laughs> it's a nice way to just bring in your shirt, but have it not be that noticeable. And once again, no sewing. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on six fun ways to alter your sleeves. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get a new video by me every day. Tomorrow's video, I'll be showing you how to make this cool window sleeve design. Yeah, see you then. I don't know if I can actually leave it while it's on my arm. Turns out I can't. So this one has the 